Good morning, welcome to day two of the Gumball 3000 2018. We're here for the 20th anniversary, which means it is a massive one. We're going from London to Tokyo. This morning we're in Chantilly, and today I think is the longest leg of the rally. I could be wrong, but today's a 555 mile drive from Chantilly to Milan in Italy. But we get to stay in places like this. Check it out behind us. We arrived here in the dark last night, so I couldn't quite appreciate how beautiful the venue was. The architecture in Chantilly is like this everywhere. Now, if you didn't tune into yesterday's video and see the incredible chateau that we parked at last night, we're now going there to collect the GT3. Behold one of the most beautiful buildings you have ever seen. Okay, so this is the incredibly beautiful chateau I was talking about. I'm not sure if it looks familiar to any of you guys, but if you're a James Bond fan, this was the backdrop to A View to Kill. It was uh, supposedly the bad guy's lair, which was played at the time by Christopher Walken. So it's really cool to be here, see this incredible environment. But uh, the nature of YouTube is, and if you watch the end of yesterday's video, we stayed up super late editing, uh, and now we are the last 10% of the grid left. Everyone has just dispersed super quickly. Um, as I mentioned, super long day today, so we're now gonna get in the GT3, pack the bags, and head to Milan. frequent occurrence on the rally. This is a fuel stop. We, we stop here a lot. Um, 3,000 miles, you get a lot of fuel consumption. Uh, but the driver and owner of this wonderful iridescent green 812 Superfast has, uh, has asked me if I could just pull it forwards for him because he's going up there for a, for a break and doing some shopping in, in the shop. Uh, conveniently, off the back of yesterday's video, uh, I'm, you know, right now, I'm, I go inspect the 812 around about end of September, October sort of time. So to spend any time around an 812 super fast right now is fantastic. And have the honor even to drive this thing a few feet uh, is going to be really, really special. But let me just spin this round and show you the spec of it. So I'm going to find out the name of this actual green, but in the sunshine, look at how much this fleck pops and it really shows up the crease lines in the car beautifully. And inside, look how well matched it is. And perfectly for the rally, he's gone for the comfort seats. I mean, they're still pretty sporty, but look how well they've matched the colors with the car. This is a super special place. Anyway, I now get to drive this a very, very short distance to go and put some fuel in it. Wow. I mean, I've spent my time in quite a lot of Ferraris, but I've never seen a spec like this. And to be able to bring you guys along firsthand to see what it's all about, look at the details in here. This, even the contrast stitching is green against these inlays. Even the inserts on the dash and the glove box, all matching green, the pinstripe through the seats, even the stitched Cavallino prancing horses on the headrest, all matching green. I think it's a stunning spec. If you were to speak to someone and say that you were specking your car this color with this matching interior at first i think in your mind you wouldn't think it would work you've seen it on the video i think you'll agree it looks unbelievable what's great about this brand is obviously historically you think of ferrari you associate it with red but more and more people are getting more bold 
they're opening up to all sorts of options and if someone had said to me I'm specking my car in a bright Kermit green I wouldn't know what to think but anyway I think this is where the magic happens yep there it is the sound of a wonderful Ferrari V12 This was more of a convenience for the very kind owner. But what's great about it is we have now joined up as our own little convoy crew for this leg of the, the rally, which is bringing a bright green smile to my day. We also partnered up with the McLaren P1 over there to the right of us. So we've got ourselves a really special convoy. Anyway, I'm gonna let this gentleman fill up and then we're gonna get back on the road. And I think Parker is now taking the keys to the GT3 so I can uh, update my video, which is going live around about now. So, this drive so far has been so 812 focused. I listen, I personally, I love it. They're brand new. We hardly have any on the road in the UK. And we've seen two of the best examples that I've ever seen. Literally. Yesterday, yeah. the one which is the triple layer uh, Rosso Fuoco, which was absolutely incredible. And today, the owner of the car was just letting me drive it three feet to the petrol pump. <laughs> <laughs> he just told me some incredible insight into that paint. So, I knew it was special. But the color is called Verde Hikers. Now, the, the significance of the Hikers, I'm not sure if you guys remember, uh, a few years ago, Ferrari did a hybrid showcase on a 599. It was a prototype car, and it was a nod to the future of Ferrari. And that um, hybrid ended up making it into the first production car, which was the LaFerrari. Now, that paint was significant because it was a paint specifically developed for the 599 Hikers. And now this guy, <laughs> has managed to get it on his 812 super fast. He was telling me that that paint was basically a gift from Ferrari. It took them a month to agree that they would paint the car that color and it cost him $49,000 for the paint. What? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. That's, yeah, that's four, very Ferrari. $49,000. Well, I mean, if you think about it, it, it it makes sense because the uh, Rosso Fuoco, which was the paint which we showed you on yesterday's yeah. video, that's a triple layer. That's that's twenty thousand pounds. So that's twenty five thousand. And they have like dollars. a six layer red too, I yeah. believe. Yeah, yeah. And he's the only car in the world with that paint on that yeah. car. And will be. And will be. They won't allow that to happen. So that's incredible. Or will they? Congratulations to the guy. He's also super passionate about it. Yeah. Also, another fun story. Uh, the car and the owner are from based in Canada. He took delivery of the car on the grid at Gumball. That's the first time he's seen it, was in London. Yeah, what how, a how cool is that? So he's doing his run-in mileage on the Gumball Rally. What a baller. Here he is now. <laughs> I don't he know how to roll down it. the window. He loves it. So we've made it to Zurich. This is our halfway point. This is our lunch stop and it's currently 20 to 6 in the evening. <laughs> we still have to drive to Milan, which is our final destination of the day. I did say today would be a very, very long day and we're only halfway through it. Uh, however, we were just saying how very special things happen on Gumball and after a few days you, you become sort of acclimatized and used to them. The words that just came out of my mouth were Usher is literally ushering us to our lunch stop. I mean, in what world? So in front of us, we have a McLaren P1. In front of that, we have a Verde Hikers 812 Superfast, which is the only one in the world. And in front of that, we have Usher ushering us. <laughs> oh, Unbelievable. 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 Okay, so it's not all too bad. We are late. We're not the only ones. We do have a fellow table of gumballers over there, but look at the view of this place. This is one thing that gumball absolutely nail, and that's the destinations. I tell you, if I ever wanted to do my own road trip with a small group of friends, I would just pull out the route cards from this rally and follow it all over again. 
Uh, having said that, we are flying halfway around the planet tomorrow. But still, check out the view and the scenery at this place while I indulge in what I'm hoping is a burger that fat. I mean, that escalated quickly. One minute I was filming some beautiful rainy B-roll and the next thing, it's like a tropical storm. Look, it's flooded. The whole area has flooded. Massive gales, gale force windstorm, rain, floods. Yeah, we got here at the right time. We got off the road at the right time. Perfect timing for food, if you ask me. Okay, we're back at our car park. Stomach is full of fantastic Switzerland's finest food. We're now regrouping with our McLaren P1, the H12 Superfast, and the GT3 is ready. We're now doing our final leg to Milan. Let's hit it. This is Jordan. Yeah. This is the guy that we've been uh, tailing in the uh, incredible. Yeah. They're tailing in the A12 super fast. Look at this. You took delivery of this on the rally. Yeah, it's four, four, four days. Uh, well, I guess almost two weeks. Tuesday. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's Tuesday. One week, one week birthday. One week birthday. One week birthday. One week birthday. Congratulations. Yeah. What a way of running yeah. in a car. A thousand uh, nine hundred and ninety-six kilometers driven today. All on the rally. Are you effing kidding me? They couldn't have measured that and given us four more <laughs> kilometers. I mean, it's only six hundred and some miles. It's not right? impressive the number of Today's miles. Today's been a long day, man. But I'll like, tell you, really, really interrupt. But we made so many wrong turns, we easily hit a thousand. Yeah, that's sure. actually a good point. <laughs> You're absolutely right. You know, and actually, and I was the navigator. Yeah, I was in charge of navigation. A bathroom breaks. But what's been incredible, you've been organic sat now because at every turn you've yeah. been sticking your hand out of the window going yeah. this way or well, that way. It's been really anymore? helpful. Do they do that anymore? Because no, I mean, when like, I no learned to drive. A long time ago, it was like stick your hand out of the window and going, going, like, I'm going this way. It was like that's left turn, that's right turn. And, and this is this is the thing. Like beyond helpful, actually. Well, no, but honestly, when you're in a long convoy. No, but I'll tell you, convoy. the cool thing is, is at the end of the day, when I'm behind you with these blinker lights, yeah. you know, they're, they're, they're going hazard because of the hard, yeah, hard brake. Yeah, all doing all kinds of stuff. And with this other hazard, the, there's other yeah. tail lights from all the other cars. And also front. people, you know I mean, the, the, the button controls on a, this one actually has the best ever right? Ferrari Right, they really thumb. made a nice they upgrade front, on these. And what they must have done is copy the Hublot watch. Right. It feels <laughs> just like the Hublot watch, and they got the <laughs> same mechanism, right? A nice touch on so, that. So, but the great thing is, is that when I put my arm out the window, you, I mean, you if you're behind me, you can see one. Yeah. Two cars back to the They can't see anything. So you, I can see your hand going up in the air. And I was pointing this way, this way, this way. Did you even know what I was talking about? Yeah, no, absolutely. I, did you know it was a second oh, exit? Oh, no. Oh, I didn't know that. I okay, thought you were just like, peace. No, <laughs> that's second exit. <laughs> okay, so tomorrow, yes, I'll yeah, remember yes, yeah. that. And second the problem exit. is it was always a second exit. It was always. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. So, yeah, so we did that and then... Well, I don't even know because the first hour and a half, what was that? We were we were the best corporate citizens, gumball citizens, whatever we're sure. called. Because we were going well. well Keeping it on brand. Well, people got pretty excited. First day, yeah. it's always going to get a bit crazy. Yeah, man. Right. So so everyone, <laughs> including myself, maybe whooped it up, celebrated sure. gumball life a bit too much. But what happened is today we all woke up and went, "That oh, was close." God. That yeah, was now close. we have not, to do well, this not, all not over me, again. But some of the other drivers <laughs> may have been driving a little irresponsibly. <laughs> so uh, so we so I'll tell you, we were doing. Like speed limit, signaling, right handling. You know what? The beginning of the day was yeah. really chill. Yeah, really and it was, chilled. But it was also eight in the morning, seven in the morning for yeah. a lot of us. It, it was get a fresh up, start. Right? So we all started speed, but as the day came up, sun yeah. comes up. We fell so far behind schedule. Yeah. Like it was absurd. We and then we had so, a long lunch in Zurich. And then we, had a, we missed the lunch in Zurich, so we went for a dinner. <laughs> and then rather yeah. than actually just have dinner and go, we, yeah. we, just, we, just we hung enjoyed around. it, right? Well, we not, we it's enjoyed it. We, we, we lived through some sort of tropical rainstorm. Absolutely, for a bit. totally. That was cool. And then and then we decided to drive through the Alps and the pouring rain and, and lightning and there was a lightning storm the entire freaking it's, time it's been an adventure it was, it was great man. like honestly if that's if it's supposed to get better after day two i don't see yeah. how we're going to do more than four days because if it's going to get better every day there's no Let's way how we go the, there's no way the hockey stick can continue <sighs> forever well let's call so, it a day we're supposed to be now going out no no we're going to when get i say the, call it a day i mean let's yeah. start the evening yeah we got a yeah. we got a bottle and table service ready to go and okay I'm gonna, cavalli I'm club yeah exactly let's do this. we're doing it <laughs> ciao we can run away